Hi, everybody. Gil Lantini here from Integrated Media Group. Uh, today, we're going to talk about adding your DNS records to GoDaddy so that you can properly send out of Pardot uh, as well as validate your tracker domain in Pardot. Um, so we're going to take a look at how to do that if you're using GoDaddy currently. So first thing we're going to do is in Pardot, we're going to go to our Pardot settings tab. And then we're going to come over here to domain management. And you'll see we've added the domain, but it's showing errors here. It's also showing not validated down here for the tracker domain. So we're going to need to take care of that. So first thing we're going to do, so I'm going to click on this SPF record and you'll see here, it gives us a record entry. Now you can only have one SPF record on your domain. Um, you can't add a, a second SPF record. So we're going to actually take just the end part of this from the include down to the end. We're going to pop back over to GoDaddy and now we're going to go to manage DNS. And what we'll end up doing is we're going to append the SPF record to the existing one that's here. So you'll see we have an SPF record. I'm going to edit this. And at the end of the record, I'm going to just replace this tilde all with the Pardot value. So it kept everything prior to the include, and then we're just adding this to the end. And then I'm going to save. Actually, this needs to be the at sign as well. So I'm going to save that. So now you have a text record, resolves to at, and this is the SPF record that we're going to use. The other records are going to be new. So this is the only record that we're actually editing um, that currently exists. So now I'm going to go back and you'll see here, if I click on domain key policy, I'm going to copy just this first part. So the underscore domain key, I'm going to come back to GoDaddy, click add. I'm going to add a text record. And then this is the host. And this value is the text value. And I'll change this to a half an hour so it validates quicker. And I'm going to click save. I'm going to add another. I'm going to come back to Pardot. We have domain key. So now I'm going to copy Again, just the first part, I'm gonna leave out the dot domain. I'm gonna come back into part of, um, GoDaddy, create a new text record, and that's my host. Back to Pardot, copy the full value here. And that is my text value. And same thing, I'm gonna do half an hour. So I've added two text records so far, and I've edited one SPF record. Now I'm gonna go and create a C name and I'm just gonna put go and that's gonna to point to go.pardot.com. This is for the tracker domain. So I'm gonna save the C name. And then the last one I'm gonna add is one more text record. The host will be the at and it's going to be this value here. I come in, paste that, save it. So I've added one C name, three text records, and modified one SPF record. And now if I come back to Pardot, and this could take a few hours to validate. Sometimes it happens faster. So if I click on my check DNS entries link here, it shows me actually a fully verified. And if I click validate here, this one sometimes may take a little longer, but let's see if this works. And that's actually validated now as well. And it says processing. The only thing we'll want to do is once this is processed, we're going to want to set it as primary because we do want the tracker domain with the custom URL to be primary. And then we're also going to enable HTTPS. So right now it does not show because this is processing. You'll notice here, this has a default HTTPS value. Um, once this is done processing, we're going to come back and we're going to default this to HTTPS as well. So this way, everything will be forced into a secure URL, which is important for Google. Uh, it's also important for tracking. So, um, so we will want to come back and just enable HTTPS once this is done processing, which should take um, probably a good 10 or 15 minutes. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. 
Uh, again, we added four domain records, three text records, one C name, and then we just updated the SPF record. And you will see now we are fully verified and we can start sending emails from Pardot and not worry about going to spam. Hope this is helpful. Thanks.